Welcome to a lecture series on Igneous and Metamorphic Petrology. In this lecture, uh, I would like to explain about the basics of uh, Igneous Petrology. Uh, for the beginners, those who start uh, to study about the rocks from magma. Uh, so, this introduction will be helpful for them. So, this uh, presentation is given in the form of uh, how Igneous Petrology is likely to be studied. Igneous Petrology is a study of rocks from the magmatic composition from the deeper zone magma is coming with a higher temperature and pressure and after that it gets slowly settled down on the surface of the earth or near surface of the earth or a little deep on the surface of the earth so study of the magmatic output of rock types is called as igneous petrology and the discussion uh, is likely to be uh, based on these titles like uh, what is igneous petrology composition of uh, what uh, the different uh, magma and the constitution of magma and composition of the earth and the phase rule behind the igneous rocks and the Bowen's reaction principle. What are the common principles involved in the formation of igneous rocks? And uh, uh, this uh, composition, what is that igneous petrology? As I already told that uh, a study of magmatic composition is called as igneous petrology. Study of igneous rocks so from magma a branch in uh, uh, branch in geology it deals with mode of occurrence origin and its relation of its uh, geological process is called as igneous petrology igneous rocks are formed by direct crystallization of magma molten magma material is called as i mean hot molten liquid magma hot molten liquid form is called as a magma that's what is given here they can take uh, the pointer Focuses on composition and texture of igneous rock uh, is a part of uh, study of igneous rocks. These rocks are divided into three different uh, parts based on the depth at which it forms. Volcanic, near surface, deep abyssal, shallow surface, plutonic, deep surface. So based on where it forms, surface of the earth, normally basalt is the composition of volcanic rock, shallow Normally, felsite or dolerite is the composition of rock. Deep seated granite is the composition of the rock. And uh, you see the figure say you, you look at that the, how the earth is divided. And the inner part uh, from the inner part to outer part. And you see inner core is between this is the distance uh, from uh, in kilometer from the surface inner core. Total uh, dia is 1278. This is called ligament. There is after that there is a break outer core. The inner core is made up of nickel and aluminium. It is a very hot uh, molten conditions. Outer core is about 2200. Outer core is this part. This is inner core. This is outer core. Outer core is this part. After that uh, there is a break. You see the break uh, is divided into different colors. You see from yellow to mild brown, mild brown to yellow. And uh, um, um, this is a mantle, and there is a small layer on the surface of the earth is called as crust. So it is for about 2200, 2850, and for, for about 40 kilometer of crust. So this is the total uh, uh, characteristics of composition of the earth. And uh, there are for about uh, eight magma, and I mean composition of elements dominates, but others occupy only 1.41. But among this, oxygen occupies a larger portions of white. Silicon oxygen, silicon comes under 2, aluminum comes under 3, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium and magnesium. So crust is uh, the upper layer composed of silicon and aluminum. The lower part is composed of uh, silicon and magnesium. Uh, upper mantle and the mantle is divided into 2, core is divided into 2 and these details are given over here. And this is the normal distribution. Now you can see the diagram rep represents that oxygen is more in Composition silica is uh, the second most, and then you see others which compost only 1.41 percent. The crust uh, thickness uh, in the last diagram cannot be because it is a movie. So, the crust is between 30 to 50 kilometer, it is uh, on which uh, the surface is uh, there is a break that is called the Mogrovicic discontinuity. The density of crust is 2 to 3. Mm, below layer is igneous or sometimes metamorphic, you will get. And you see, this is the crust, uh, and the crustal part is here. It may be, it may vary from zero to uh, 
100 km but whereas uh, on 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 uh, what is that on c it is for about uh, less uh, less in uh, thickness and the bottom layer is a basic or sometimes ultrametric there is a break here this is called a lithosphere this is called a crust upper most solid part and uh, in between this uh, the portion is called as asthenosphere that's a mantle and crust where it uh, collapses uh, the sphere which normally you will get uh, where this uh, asthenosphere is the part through which you get your alveolar mountains below that there is a mantle and core is there it is not to scale the core is a, a solid form and a liquid form it is in between total distance is 6378 km from the surface of the earth and this is the mantle part uh, this is the crustal part and total crustal thickness is uh, 100 km and there is a break uh, morphologic discontinuity density varies 2 to 3 mm -hmm. below layer is igneous and metamorphic bottom layer is basic ultra basic upper crust and lower crust are separated by uh, uh, Canard crust is um, upper lower crust is canard that is continuity. So upper crust uh, 5 to 30 kilometers composed of silicon and aluminium. It is a continental crust. Most of the continent uh, which comes under this upper crust, They're mostly of granitic and lower crust is between 30 to 50 silicon and magnesium. Normally in the ocean crust, uh, this is the composition of silicon and normally it is a basaltic in composition. Mantle is below which uh, the crust and the, the total thickness is 35 to 2900 2, km. Thickest layer of the earth, a solid rock, uh, um, very thickest layer in the total, uh, you have total structure of the earth for about 3 to 6000 uh, mantle occupies larger portion. Surface and oxides are major composition density. Uh, convection of the mantle is expressed at the surface through the motion of uh, tectonic plate where you will get no atmosphere is there. Uh, in the mantle uh, part, uh, there uh, uh, the subduction. Sometimes it will go inside. Sometimes it will come. And that depends upon the density of, uh, of the rock which hits one over the other. Mantle separated by a uh, um, crust. There is a break in the deposition between the crust and mantle by morphology. Uh, there is a, uh, I mean, a break in the deposition of upper crust and lower crust is called conoid discontinuity. Asthenosphere is the layer that uh, starts from the mantle. Uh, it is thickness for about uh, 100 uh, kilometers. You see, you get everything in the asthenosphere. Uh, the, 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 and this is the asthenosphere portion. Asthenosphere is the very important portion, Vulcano, which when it is rotates uh, and it takes, uh, you know, that this is um, a lithosphere and this is a very hard lithosphere so that it cannot be able to hit, it goes down. Where you will get, you know, that you, you are all. Uh, magma wave which will come up in the form of ridges and the magma this is a, a trench portions and uh, this cycle uh, because of the rotation which you can see very interesting flame and uh, wherever that this trench hits you know that you will get your uh, mountain mountain will come up you see your volcanoes will come up so you will get all your uh, wherever the interaction uh, is more there you will get your this is the inner core um, part of uh, the study. Asthenosphere uh, thickness is 100. Lower part of the lower crust and upper part of the mantle. It is it is a joining portion between the lower part of the crust and upper part of the mantle. It is important uh, role in plate tectonics as I said that as and when it hits uh, depending upon the density of rocks, uh, you have uh, the possibilities of getting ridges at one side, trenches at other side. Core composed of nickel and aluminium. This is the composition as I said normally we used to tell it is a knife in composition. It is in liquid state. Uh, thickness uh, varies between 2900 to 6371 kilometer in thickness. Upper mantle and lower mantle are separated by Gutenberg. Mantle uh, upper crust, uh, lower crust conoid discontinuity. Crust mantle is Gutenberg. Core uh, mantle mantle is uh, uh, that is called Gutenberg. Mantle core density varies uh, from 10 to 13. Outer core is liquid, inner core is solid. So this is about uh, the general uh, um, igneous petrological introduction. Composition we will see uh, in the next lecture. Thank you.